Hey there, this is Ed Beard with the Employer's Edge and it may be a valuable couple of minutes to take a look at why leaders derail because they are poor communicators and in this case poor communication meaning leaders who are me monsters. They have done it faster, bigger, better than anyone else and the recognition light shines on them from start to finish. No one else gets any recognition after all, what's the point? I did it better anyways. You know, Brian Regan, the comedian, does a great piece on Me Monster in one of his videos. You got to check that out. Now here's why the organization is going to pay the ultimate performance price for that Me Monster leader. It's because the Me Monster leader shuts down innovation by stripping people of their value. What's the point of giving an idea if the Me Monster leader's idea was better? What's the point of taking a risk, of being, uh, of being outspoken and, and, and coming up with new ideas if the Me Monster leader's ideas are always better? So what Me Monster leaders do is they form an environment of mediocrity on their team. What's the point of performing at your best when your best is never ever quite good enough? The Me Monster leader's best is always going to be better. But here's the thing, I can't speak in this video directly to a Me Monster because they don't watch videos. There's nothing to learn, right? They already know it all. They're already the shining star. There's nothing I could possibly come up with that could give them a, a good idea. So they don't watch this, but if you are watch, if you have to manage, I should say, a Me Monster type of leader, chances of getting it done internally is going to be a little bit difficult. That's why we cover this in our Getting Into Leadership Shape program because that Me Monster leader is put in an environment of their peers. They are no longer the bigger, the stronger, the faster. In fact, there's other people at the table, table who have actually most likely performed in better than they have. So they are no longer the best and in an environment like that they can actually understand the destructive nature of being a me monster. Here's the thing though, if you have to handle and manage this type of a beha this behavior, this mindset, right, is you got to get them to decide what's more important for the organization to perform or for them to be right. You cannot have them both. Organizations perform when people are developed. If the me monster leader is right, they don't develop their people. They are opposite, at polar opposite ends of the spectrum. You can only have one. Develop your people or do you want to be right? What is most important right now? And that me monster leader has to really understand that being right strips developing people the development of people. It strips them of their value and completely takes them out of their purpose in the organization. So if you happen to be that me monster leader, this, you happen to be watching this video, just know, when you one-up people, when you are the biggest, stronger, faster, and you always have a better story than everyone else, while you're telling your story and one-upping someone, just know, behind that wonderful smile on their face, what they're thinking of is what is missing in your life? It's exactly what they're thinking. Did your mama take away your pacifier at a young age? Were you shaking as a baby? Were you not picked for intramurals as a child? I mean, what's going on behind that? Why do you constantly have to have the light shine on you? That's what they're thinking. But if you're the me monster, you have no clue that they're thinking that because you're focused on all your accolades. Just know it's not landing how you are giving it. So if you have to manage that me monster type of a personality, uh, you have to get them to decide what do they want, organizational performance through developing people or to be right, or maybe even put them into getting into leadership shape. Hope that was some good ideas for you.